Air Max is received from Dog of the Week. Look at his dirty ones though. That's that's an old Dog of the Week. There's a dog. There's a D A W G. That's a D O G. That's a washed up dog. That's an old dog. That's an old dog right there. <laughs> Let me put the shades, put the shades, you feel me? I think trying to learn everything in 10 weeks is very difficult mentally and physically. And, you know, there's a lot to learn in the classroom. Nice competition, one-on-one -on -one against kids that have played all our lives. But... It was great to have you IMG boys to come run one-on-ones with me and Praise. Being able to actually run against someone, I think so that's definitely pushing us to the next level. Theme of this week, getting outside of our comfort zones. Because as soon as we get into that comfort zone, we die and we stop growing. <laughs> well, that's not gonna get annoying. Uh, we've just had the punters and kickers join us, and it's just good to have the full group together. Pads and helmet on for the first time. I think now that they're here, it feels like, you know, this is us, this, this is the class of 24. Nice. We held trials in October, had guys from South America, India, Ireland, to find who are the best five guys to be the group of pioneers that get to do this. Did you see Charlie's shoulders yesterday? Oh, terrible. Oh. Red Raw. We'll start with the Englishman, Harry Malander. Harry comes from a very high pedigree of rugby. He's captained his country. Big, very impressive athlete. Rory Began is one of the most well-known names in Gaelic football in Ireland. He played at a very high level. Dara Leader is a former rugby player from Connacht. Again, big dude, big physical guy. Charlie Smith is the youngest in the group, also a Gaelic footballer. Kind of a really young, up-and-coming talent in that sport. Lifelong NFL fan. I keep catching him smiling to himself. <laughs> this is unbelievable, isn't it? This is class. Mark. 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 <laughs> I say Mark, but the English I say Mark. <laughs> And the last one is Mark Jackson. Mark can just strike a ball in a way that not a lot of people in the world can. Work on three. One, two, three. Work! Mark! Mark! So the program for them was shorted because we don't need the same physical changes for in terms of they're not running the 40 yard dash, they're not doing the agility drills. But the same time it's a really important lesson for the kickers because the dynamic of a kicker and a punter on a NFL team, we call them independent contractors. They're kind of separate. So when the team are in team meetings, when they're in offense meetings, defense meetings, the kickers and punters are doing their own thing. So they're kind of learning and adjusting to that. Six, five. Three more weeks of training, two days at the combine to, to hopefully show the Americans what I'm all about. McCaffrey's touched it on three of the first four plays. All for good yardage. They go back to him again. Ball is on the ground. Yeah, the timing of the Super Bowl happening a day or so after our arrival was, was pretty perfect, to be honest, because we're not just here to land on rosters and hang on there for two or three seasons, then go home. And their ambition is to, to be the starting kicker, to be the starting punter, to win a Super Bowl. And, and that's what we we're thinking, like, Who's going to be there first? Not when. Who's going to be first? To kick in the NFL, it, it is a mental game. Um, so many guys in the United States, and even around the world, can kick big distances, but it's those that can kick short distances consistently under massive duress. That's the reality. When it's the world's biggest league, there's huge pressure. In a four-hour game, you could come on for one kick and that be your only moment. Whether you get it or not, you're done. You go and sit on the sideline. So it's a highly important role and we saw in the Super Bowl the importance of it. And this is a lot of moving parts where in every other sport, this is you and that's it, where in football, there's 11 people that have to do their job right in order for the kicker to get the chance to do his job right. You've got to run over, work out the correct distance from where the ball's placed. You've got a group of the biggest, most athletic men in America, if not further, charging at you, trying to stop it. And then you've got the more obvious ones. It can be blown an absolute gale, it can be on and off. You control field position, you can't. We're really lucky to, to be able to talk to someone like John Carney. John, how's it going? How are you doing? Good, Doug, how are you? Hi. He's the fifth, I think, all-time point scorer in the NFL. It was unreal to get to pick his mind. It was really interesting what he was talking about, swing thoughts and not be thinking about too many things going into a kick and kind of 
keep it to two simple things in your head that's probably my best kicks are the ones you can't really remember it's just you and the ball nothing else around it matters in that 1.3 seconds what are you doing over there? <laughs> no, I can get this. It's just, it's just technique. Nothing else. No, just technique. Under the ball, under the ball. Yes, yeah, weird. Well, this is kind of the week where we're playing it all out in front of them, on the screen, in the playbook, and then hopefully on the field at the end of the week, we're going to walk through plays so they can actually get a sense of how it all kind of fits together. We brought the kickers out and it was very fun, it was very competitive, but you get to see how we're all connected all the time. Oh yeah, the, yeah, the piece of the puzzle has definitely come together. Having kickers and punters here, Lewis and Bray are out there catching kicks and Pat and Florian are long snapping for them. Dara and Harry are holding from real long snaps and so they're all starting to make each other better and that iron sharpening iron. One, two, three, three. Oh, oh. <laughs> The other thing that came along with this game that I can't ignore is you get into it because of yourself initially. And then when you become a part of a team, you start to realize that it's more about the collective than it is your individual desires. Each play is 11 people trying to do things together correctly to make that one play work, then make the next play work, then to make that series work, then to make the first quarter work. There's this moment where these strangers become friends, and in this case, they become brothers. I'll let him have that one. I'll let him have it, I'll let him have it. I felt every emotion, and, and the, one, the big one since I've been here is, you know, I just feel at home now. Um, I said to the boys earlier on, yeah, we're, we're all strangers to ourselves, but we, are, we will become a family, and I think we've, we really have uh, formed a really tight group, and having the punters and kickers come in, they've had no trouble sliding straight in. When we fulfill a responsibility or an obligation to other people, it makes us feel good. I mean, that's human nature. When other people do that for us, there's not a better way that you can say to someone that you care about them or you respect them. Uh, we have a laugh with each other, but we also push each other, whether that's in the gym or out on the field. We're always kicking someone up the ass. <laughs> like in practice, you compete to get better. You're not competing to defeat the other guy. You're competing to make him better and yourself better. And that's just, I've never seen that before outside of football, and it's very special. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is an email I sent uh, from the 11th of July, 2019. Um, at this time, I was uh, just turned 18 years old, and I just left uh, high school. So that the email reads, hello. I'm a young NFL fan from County Down in Ireland. I'd love to get into American football as a kicker, as I kick freeze in my sport Gaelic football, similar to the way the ball is kicked for a field goal. Is there any possible way I can get seen to for kicking? Much appreciated, Charlie. I had no idea who I was sending that email to. Um, I sent it to inquiries at nfl.com. Um, yeah, that's... Um, I think that's manifested itself into the position I'm in right now, and it's uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Like, and actually, I only saw, I only remember I sent that email about maybe a month or two ago, and um, yeah, look where I'm sitting right now. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty cool. That's class. <laughs> This is the first iteration of international kickers and punters and yeah, we are the pioneers. The, the guys we have over here, we're the first lads to do this. It's, it's just class now that I've come from being a fan sitting in the sofa to competing for a roster spot on an NFL team. And it's uh, something that you, you mightn't have thought it was possible. I feel like there is no limit to, to my potential, but the IPP programme has just given me the pathway to put myself on the stage to, to show to everyone in the world what I'm capable of doing, I suppose. There's been real life examples of guys who've made it a success and for me that reassures me that this isn't just a box ticking opportunity. I think it's really important that everyone knows and understands that this pathway is, is real. Football could care less where you're from. I know kids that have, that have made it on a team because they just weren't going to be stopped. Their plan A was huge. It's a sport for everybody if you really want it bad enough. I don't think there is a ceiling. It's, it's just a matter of who wants it and who wants to go get it. So we have to 
do our very best to make sure we do very well in the day and that we set a high standard so that next year there can be five more guys who are some random guys kicking at some high school somewhere. It's exciting, it actually. It's exciting to be the first, the first ones to get to do this, the ones that people will look at in years to come and think, okay, they're the lads. It was the Rory Begg and Dyer Leader, Mark Jackson, Charlie Smith or Harry Mallander. Like They're the, the guys that everyone's going to look to in years, years down the road. The opportunity is there um, for the taking and, and that's the bit that really lights the fire inside me because I'm here and uh, I'm giving it my best shot. If we miss this, kickers have to clean up after everyone at lunch and dinner. Oh, oh, yeah. Just the kickers, just Fresh the kickers. Here we go. Mark! 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 Mark!